scene in Boston earlier tonight as the Celtics had hoped to get even closer to delivering a title to the city. Western Mass News reporter Matt Satilli was in the middle of all that action. He joins us now live outside the garden with more. And Matt, I've got to assume many of the fans are a little bit less excited than they were going in tonight. Yeah, Chris, but you can still tell that championship buzz is in the air in Beantown. That has not subsided yet. And thousands of fans did make their way here to TD Garden to watch the Boston Celtics compete in the NBA Finals for the first time since 2010. It's three hours before the game and the place is out of control. Celtics fans taking to the streets of Boston on Friday night to watch their team face the Golden State Warriors in game four of the NBA Finals. Electric. Electric factor, I think it's going to be absolutely nuts tonight. Ticket prices for Friday night's game at an all-time high, especially after the Celtics delivered a 116-100 win on Wednesday to take a two games to one lead in the best of seven series. Officials from Ace Tickets say the cheapest seats in the house are selling for close to $1,000. Everybody pitched in a little bit. Uh, our parents, my grandparents, like everybody helped out. It was a... It's I'm just a true depth, blessing. Like the next four years. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. I'm done going Special out. Fans lucky enough to secure a ticket tell Western Mass News no one is leaving the game empty-handed. Even friends and family who couldn't break the bank to attend. I'm walking out with three jerseys, a hat, and a shirt for my dad. A shirt for Grandma, Western Mass, Longmeadow. Let's go. Always got to rep it. Now with the Celtics on the cusp of their record-setting 18th NBA title. A young team, a hard, gritty team, coached by a guy just as hard and gritty. It's unbelievable. Another duck boat parade in the city of champions doesn't feel so far away. Finish it, boys. Bring it home. Final score, Warriors 107, Celtics 97. Steph Curry drops 43 points as the Warriors even up the series at two games apiece. It's now a best of three for the Larry O'Brien Trophy. The Celtics and Warriors will now travel from the Bay State to the Bay Area for game five of the series, set to get underway Monday night in San Francisco. Tonight's Warriors win also ensures that the series will be back here at TD Garden next Thursday night for a game six. Live outside TD Garden in Boston, Matt Satilli, Western Mass News. Matt, thank you.